this was some really interesting footage that I thought I'd show. Um, just showing where my camera's height is. Um, I do say in here that I'm about um, three and a half, four feet from the water, plus the 28 inches. Uh, well, I got the remote on there, so I had another uh, six inches on there. Um, so I'm about 34 inches. Uh, might as well say three feet. So I'm approximately, you know, six and a half feet off the water. Um, and this is from the Bayport Park Fishing Pier area. Um, I don't want to talk a lot through the video, um, but I'm going to point some things out that I think are pretty interesting. And this wasn't from when I first got there. This was a little bit later, but it was the only footage that I had of where I had placed my camera. All right, so this first part here, I, uh, I left uh, natural. I didn't change anything on it. Um, it's original footage, but you can see, um, you know, a, a, a line further up at the top of the screen. That's approximately where your actual eye level would be due to perspective. And a lot, a lot of people have a hard time understanding that perspective part. Everything gets smaller. Um, and the horizon does rise to eye level even though the object is smaller and uh, oh by the way I'm using the B700 for this footage if you notice the red camera and here I change the contrast and saturation and brightness uh, but look you can see boats you know further out there uh, way out there on the horizon um, where a lot of times they're mirrored um, and you know you got that thick haze in the atmosphere or actually across the surface of the water different water uh, lighting conditions uh, make a difference to uh, ask any professional um, you know photographer about lighting conditions your lighting conditions have to be just right um, and if, if they're not you're not going to um, you know you're gonna have a lot of light glare and then on this particular day I had just enough um, you know cloud cover to block out a lot of the light that usually um, <laughs> keeps me from seeing the actual horizon line um, so again I'm gonna let this uh, play the natural audio on here and uh, you know go from here and like I said I'm gonna just point some things out as we go along but you can obviously see the horizon line and even look at the um, channel markers this is what I say that um, you know prospectively the ones close to me are going to be higher than the ones farther away and you know somebody might say well how's that you know isn't it dipping uh, down or dipping up or you know is it concave is it you know convexed um, or is it flat and I think from uh, our perspective of being so low to the ground, it's going to be flat. And if it's flat from our perspective, it's probably flat from even higher perspectives because you can see that in uh, airplane footage that Jay Tolan puts out. Um, <laughs> you know, some interesting long distance shots from an airplane. Um, but uh, again, I'm, I'm going to let it go back to natural audio.
definitely ain't gonna see the north in Iraq. see nothing beyond a certain point. Okay, I changed the screen back to normal so you could see what I was seeing. Um, of course, I'm also looking at this tiny screen, so, you know, it, it's hard for me to, you know, see some of that, especially with the glare of the light. 
comes standing on concrete, which, has, you know, creates a glare, um, which kind of does bother me when I'm trying to film, especially when I'm trying to get it in, in really good focus. Um, that distortion, you are not going to be able to focus on. Same way with the some of the boats that you'll see way out on the horizon. Um, they'll be distorted, but they are out on the horizon. Um, so you'll be able to see that. Now I'm going to go back to the regular audio, but I might break in again um, here and there. Uh, just to kind of point some things out. Or I'll text something on call this sky illumination or air density getting illuminated by the sun. And that also obstructs your vision. work right there, how that boat is way out there and the other boat was close to me, 200 yards, and here's that marker, the watch, he'll turn right here, see I know this channel marker, pretty good. Okay, there's a, a little bit of mirroring going on right there where that uh, um, channel marker was. And I'm going to show you something else here um, as we go through. Watch the, the boat itself. You'll start seeing where it starts to mirror itself right here. And this little gap of mirroring actually displaces... Um, some of the other objects that's up on the um, horizon that you do see. In other words, I'm saying that that horizon is being displaced up a little bit, um, but there also could be some mirroring going there. So I don't think that that is actually uh, the true horizon. I think it's actually down a little bit because, again, um, I always find that no matter what, there always seems to be a little bit of mirroring. And remember that orange boat right there that went by, because uh, later on I've got some footage of that. Um, that looks pretty cool. Um, and again, um, I'm going to go back to the original footage right here, just for this little strip. Um, and you can see stuff way out on the horizon there behind that boat or up above that boat. Um, Again, I'm going to go back to the re original audio here shortly and just let you listen to what I have to say um, in the original footage. Okay. Got a little blur here. Yeah. 
out there. Much further out. And again, these boats never go over no curve. They only get obscured by many optical effects. fishing ramp or fishing pier or the seawall where the picnic tables are or the little pavilions. Look how small he is to the sign. into that haze. <laughs> like a man walking into a well-lit room. Changing tractions are going straight out now. As far as I can still see him. Even though he's a blob and vanished for a second. Now, I'm just trying to give you my honest opinion of what I see um, throughout all of my observations that I've done throughout the years. I mean, even here, you can see where it looks like that uh, land out there is floating, but that's due to the light circumstances. And then, of course, when I zoom in, there's a boat perfectly visible on the water. Yes, again, it's distorted, but it is a boat, and it is on the water. Um, there's nothing being hidden by anything but an optical effect of distortion. Other than that, the whole boat would be visible on the water. Um, just like when I have really, really good visibility uh, without the distortion, um, I can see these boats perfectly fine, especially at this distance. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.